do is we're going to trisect an angle using the spiral of Archimedes. Here you see we have the spiral of Archimedes already drawn on our paper. Now what's so special about this is that any point on the spiral of Archimedes, if you would draw a line from that point back to the origin, the angle that it creates between that line and the horizontal line is equal to the distance from that line to that point. So first what we're going to do is we're going to draw any random line on our paper. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to um, trisect the line segment that goes from the origin all the way to this point where the line crosses the spiral of Archimedes. So we're going to do that by drawing three circles. What we're going to do next is we're going to draw a parallel line, or we're going to draw a line from the top of the circle to where our first line intersects the spiral of Archimedes. Like so. We're going to repeat this process drawing two more parallel lines at the ends of at the intersections of these circles. Three parallel lines that break up our first line into three equal parts. Next what we'll do is we'll take our compass and we'll measure the distance of this first section and then we'll draw a little line that connects that point with the spiral of Archimedes. At this point we will take a line or we will draw a line from the origin through that point on the spiral. And there's our trisected line or our trisected angle. Now the reason why this is trisected is because the distance from the origin to this point on the spiral and in relation to the distance of this is one third. And because as we said at the beginning it's one third of the length it's also one third of the angle. 